quick hits here. We have we have your spotlight game. There's another video for that out there. But let's get right into the matchups. Hemfield traveling to Millersville to play Penn Manor. Great matchup. That's the one you're going to be at. Who's going to win this game? Uh, like I said, I, I like Penn Manor in this one. I give them the nod on defense, and I, I think it'll be a close game. And in close games, the defenses tend to win. So Penn Manor. Three and zero. Wilson traveling to McCaskey uh, Friday night. What do you think? Well, two interesting numbers here. Uh, Wilson is going for the 500th win in program history. Wow. Uh, they, they started in 1945, so it didn't take them too long to get to 500. McCaskey hasn't beaten Wilson since 2003, and oh, that's wow. the last time that the Red Tornado won the section title, and mm. it seems like a long time ago. Uh, I like Wilson in this one. Lancaster Catholic, I can't believe I'm saying this, 0-3 on the year at Mannheim Township, 2-1. and Yeah, it's hard to believe, but they're coming by that, that number legitimately. They're averaging 145 yards a game, which is uh, 20th in the league, and they've scored just 20 points, which is the second fewest wow. total in the league. Township, meanwhile, they've only given up 27 points. Mm. Uh, they have a pretty good defense here. That the 27 points is tied for the third lowest total in the league. I like their defense here. I'm taking Mannheim Township. Hard to believe. Warwick going to Cedar Crest. This could be an offensive battle here. Yeah, this one really could go either way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Cedar Crest has definitely improved uh, mm -hmm. from where they were uh, in recent seasons. They still have some issues on defense, though. But the, the problem for Warwick is Cedar Crest's issues are more against the run than the pass, and mm -hmm. Warwick's really kind of opened up the passing game this yeah. year. Um, kind of a 50-50 game here. I was really tempted to take Cedar Crest in an upset, but I'm going to go conservative. I'm, I'm taking Warwick. Stick with the Warriors. Could Calico travel to Conestoga Valley? Okay, Section 2 opener here. Uh, yeah. Eagles are coming off that in just impressive blowout of Gover Governor Mifflin last week. They've outscored their three opponents 152-27. to 27. Wow. 152 is the highest point total in the league at this point, and this is just a matchup nightmare for CV. Uh, Cocalico averages 356 yards per game on the ground. CV gives up a uh, little over 209, uh, 219 yards a game against the rush. Mm. I like Ocalico here. Could be the mercy rule in effect there. Yeah, we'll see. E-Town at Mannheim Central. Uh, Barons have the league's best defense. They've allowed minus six rushing yards wow. in three games, and they're giving up 110 yards per game total. E-Town, they, they started off with that win over Donegal. Yeah. They've lost two in a row since then. I think it's going to be three in a row. Mm. I like Central here. We got the effort of Mountaineers traveling to Lebanon. What do you like there? Lebanon is the LL League version of the Philadelphia Eagles. They're all offense, no defense. They, <laughs> they're averaging 419 yards and 38 points a game. They give up 401 yards and 35 points a game. So it, it'll be interesting. Uh, they got a real good quarterback, Mark Piles. 14 touchdown passes in three weeks. I think he's going to light it up on Friday night. I like Lebanon here. Interesting. Saturday matchup, LS traveling to Solanco. For this one. Yeah, this is a noon matchup in Solanco. It's, uh, they're doing it to accommodate the fair down there, I guess. But uh, Solanco has the league's worst offense, 105 yards per game. That's oh, it. Oh, boy. And they've scored just 12 points in three weeks. I, I like LS. Section 3 matchup, Anvil Kelowna traveling to Northern Lebanon. Uh, Northern Lebanon's three losses have come by a total of 11 points. Hmm. And they're looking to break an 11-game losing streak. I think they're going to do it here. AC has lost three in a row and eight of their last nine. It's kind of a 50-50 matchup, but my gut's telling me Northern Lebanon. Somebody's got to get in the win call uh, on this one. Absolutely. Something got to give. Garden Spot versus Donegal. This could be for the section title, right? This is a good matchup. Yeah, before the season, it seemed like it was going to be a much bigger matchup than mm -hmm. it was. Donegal struggled a little bit early. They've been hit by injuries. Their uh, best runner, Chris Trimby, uh, he's, he rolled an ankle in week one. Okay. He, was, he was back last week, uh, but only played defense. If he's back in the offense and they're full strength, maybe this is a little bit different. Uh, but Garden Spot's offense is just phenomenal. They're averaging 432 yards a game. They got a good quarterback in Mitch Martin. Donegal's been a little shaky on defense, so I like Garden Spot in the matchup. Peckway Valley, 3-0. and i got to say, 3-0 and Peckway Valley going to Elko. Undefeated Braves. And this is the first 3-0 and start in program history for well. Peckway Valley. Uh, I think they're going to make it 4-0. Uh, Elko has the league's worst defense, 436 yards and 46 points per game. Wow. Peckway's playing a little bit of defense, so I think that'll be able to shut down what Elko has been able to do offensively. I like PV. Interesting. Last game, non-league here, Burks Catholic traveling to Columbia in this one. Uh, Burks Catholic is ranked in the top 10 by two statewide polls in mm. Class AA. They've outscored their opponents 91 nothing in the first half of their three games. Ooh. The only points, they've given, they've given up 26 points, all of them in the fourth quarter quarter of their three games, and that's long after the starters are out. Right. Uh, nobody stayed within 28 points of them this year. Uh, Columbia might be the team to break that. They you know, they had a good showing against Trinity last mm -hmm. week, fought back from 28 nothing to make it 28-22, which is very respectable. Sure. But I still like first half, I think they're going to win.